Hey guys, Clyde here, live from the Leechburg Lights Workshop. Uh, we're uh, doing some things here on the computer and I wanted to do a video uh, for some email questions that I had uh, on how do you get uh, to render over uh, some different um, nutcracker models, how do you render some effects on them? So what I was going to do today is I was going to show you in the new version that was just released was the uh, June 16th uh, version 4.1.6 uh, X-Lights. Um, I want to show you how to set up uh, a, f a very simple sequence and uh, this is obviously after I just installed the program and I'm going to start adding by adding two universes of um, two universes of uh, channels into X-Lights. So all we did was add E131 and I've added 200 and, uh, 512 channels and channel 1 through 512 and channel 513 through 1024. So we're going to save the setup and then we're going to go to the layout tab. In the layout tab we have models and we're going to click on models and we're going to create a new model. Here we'll just name, we'll give the model a name and we'll call these windows. And I'm going to call them one, windows 1 and we're going to ch change the display type from a mega tree, a 360 mega tree, to a window frame. I'm also going to uh, change the string type from RGB nodes or pixels to three channel RGB. So this is just pretty much the whole window frame is going to be one color on or off um, and we'll set that. So when we set this up as three channels, we're going to change the number of nodes at the top, which my window frames have, we'll say seven across the top. 15 on the left hand or right and 7 across the bottom and my start channel on this window is going to be start channel number 1 and it will be 1, 2, and 3 and we'll uh, go ahead and click OK and that creates, creates our model. Now it, I have five windows, let's say I have five dumb RGB windows in my display which is exactly what I have. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to uh, change the name to Windows 2 and I'm going to leave all this setup data the same. The only thing I'm going to change is the start channel from channel 1 to channel 4. And click OK. So now we have two windows. I'm going to do this again for exactly three more windows to create my five windows that I have across the top of the house. And I need to modify this channel to be 7. So. Okay, so we have five models here, and let's go ahead and click OK. We notice that they're placed among different areas. When we select one, we just click and drag, and it highlights it for us. Now we can make it smaller by going to the corner. We can resize it. Um, now, and when you click on it, it tells you which model number you're, you're selecting. So... love these instant pop-up notifications and number five okay so we've got five windows set up now the other thing I want to do is I want to set up a couple windows uh, but I don't want them to be uh, dumb RGB I want them to be pixels so we'll go back into the um, model screen here and we'll create a new model and um, let's change the model name pixel window and let's uh, let's use um, I have a I have another uh, on my on my window frames I have uh, uh, actual pixels and I'm going to use a total number going across the top is five and the up and down is seven and seven and seven is fourteen and five across the bottom and top is 10 so that's 24 and we'll make the start channel for this since this this will calculate how many pixels we have uh, the last channel from the other windows was 15 so we'll start at 16 and after we place the cursor over here we see that the last channel is 87 
and the the bottom left is where my window frames will start so we'll click OK we'll go up here and we'll copy this actually we'll click OK and it'll create this window frame now you notice it's a little different than uh, what the other window frames look like so we'll go ahead and copy uh, let's copy f um, five more of those or four more of those end channel is 87 so we'll make the start channel 88 159 will make channel 160 231 will make this this uh, start channel 232 and 304. So we only really needed one universe of uh, E131 just to create simple window frames. Um, once we finish placing these, we will begin doing some simple sequencing. I am not a sequencing expert with X lights by any means. I learn just by playing with and making my mistakes and doing things and uh, I find that uh, that is the best way for me to learn. So um, this is just so that we can learn how to render different effects into Nutcracker. So let's go into, uh, oh, one last thing. We're gonna click save on this screen here. And what this does is this creates, uh, this saves your setup here on this screen. So next we're gonna go to the sequencer tab. Now we don't have any sequences loaded and that's what I'm gonna bring up now. So let's see, we've got, where is, here, here we go, XML Sugar Plum Fairies. Let's try that. Here we go. Uh, I've already taken the time to go through and uh, knock out some timings here. And um, so all you do to add a timing, it's is very simple. I'll just slide over and show you. Just select anywhere you see uh, that you want to add a timing and you just let, press the letter T. T is in Tom, and it will add a timing mark. And if you want a second timing grid, so you can you can have two different timing grids, you can switch between the two here. You just right click on the actual timing grid, and you can add timing track. If you want to get rid of one, you just delete timing track. So this is a very nice feature in X Lights. It makes it far easier to do timings than it ever did in Lightorama. Um, so I'm very happy with that. Now. Um, Let's get to some sequencing, but first we need to get some models into our screen so that we can play with them. So let's edit display elements and let's add some models and we're just going to click every single one of these models so that they're highlighted. So we know these are the pixels and we know these are the regular windows. We will close out of here and now I'm going to click save just so that I don't have to go through that step again. Now on to some simple sequencing. Here I can see that since I have these windows, these are just turned on off windows, I'm just gonna go through some of the effects. This is the off command, this is the on command. I'm gonna select the on command because that's usually what you wanna do is you wanna turn on windows with dumb RGBs or you wanna turn on your dumb RGBs. This allows you to select the color that you want them to turn on. So I'm just gonna select green, click update, and I'm going to click on the actual uh, icon and I'm going to drag right over to my first timing mark where it's highlighted. See see where how you highlight it, just click on it. This won't happen if you don't have any timing marks or you don't have a model. See, there's no model here, you can't select it. But there's a model here and there's a timing mark. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just going to click and drag over here from this. Now, there's also other ways you can do this. And 
one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's say, right click and copy. And I'm going to select that little box there and I'm going to paste. Whoops. And I don't like how it pasted across there. So we'll just make it smaller. And we're going to update the color on that. And I just changed the check marks there. We're going to click update. And now you can see that that's changed the color there. Now, um, let's change from from these window frames here let's change to a different timing to these other window frames and see if we can do some cool effects with uh, with let's say bars and uh, we'll click on bars and we'll click two colors because when you render a bar uh, and I've now I've selected a model this window here and we're going to uh, update and click and drag over to this and it looks like the model of bars is going up and down with the white and the red. So if we want to change that, we go to this effect setting here. We scroll down a little bit. We can change the direction. Let's go left and right. Or we'll just go left. And then we'll update. So now that updated the effect here in the window. So if I like this effect, and I want to copy this, and I want to paste this to this location, and then I can paste it again to this location and to this location. Now let's do some simple editing here because I have a feeling I know what I want it to look like. And there we go. There's, there's a quick bit of simple editing that you can do in X Lights and Nutcracker. So I'm going to pull the whole house preview out here really, really nice and big. Let's make it bigger. And we will go back to the beginning. And we are going to play the sequence. And I'm just, oh, let's render it. How about that? Let's hit the, oh, we're going to save it first because there might be an issue with the render button. Let's do render, render all. And actually, why don't we just do that through this, the preview tab or the layout tab. Here we go. Let's play it. So, oh, so that is basically how you can show a little bit of sequencing um, whenever you are doing uh, pixel work using a model or whenever you are just sequencing dumb RGB. So I think that turned out pretty well. Uh, it was uh, something I, I kind of thought about ahead of time before I started playing with uh, X lights today. But I hope this is a informative and helpful little video just to get you started with some simple sequencing. And there's a whole lot more to all of the different effects. You're going to find a lot more information uh, if you stay tuned to a lot of the, uh, the help pages and setups here uh, at the uh, not nutcracker releases page and I'll bring that up for you guys right now because I think it's really important that uh, uh, that you you use the tools that are already available so just go to nutcracker 123.com forward slash nutcracker forward slash releases and there's a lot of useful links right here uh, at the top of the page uh, if you don't have audacity it's a free program it's right I have it loaded and saved on my system tray I use it all the time uh, there's a lot of videos. Uh, John Storms uh, created a video on how to do models. Uh, I liked his video and I updated it with my own information. That's, you can find that in my YouTube uh, page. You can also uh, look at all of the new effects that have been created and added for this 4.0 version of X Lights Nutcracker. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. Philip, uh, this video is for you. And uh, thank you for asking the question, how do you get uh, videos or how do you get uh, uh, some effects to render onto a model whenever you are trying to preview it here. And All right, guys, take care. We'll catch you later. Bye.